Uh, we have our first phone caller on the line, Marty from Washington County, who has a question about a slip, trip, or fall. So, Marty, you can go ahead with that question right now. Yes. Uh, I had folks that went to trial in July the 12th, and uh, the, my, my, my lawyer told me that they wanted to settle, and I made an agreement with him if I I'll settle for this certain amount of money in my pocket. And uh, that was on July the 12th, and now the day is uh, August the 15th. And I asked the attorney uh, what's going on. He said that he didn't like the language what the defendant put in the release, so he didn't want to accept it. And so I said, okay. Uh, I haven't signed anything, but he sent something to the court prior to the trial of July 12th that a settlement be reached. Is that bounding? Or what can I do? Because I haven't seen the release. I keep calling him back. He's telling me he's waiting on a certain doctor to say this and so he can send it back to the defendant for them to change the release. How long should I wait on that? Because that's not my problem. You know, right, I, Marty, I you don't want to wait too long on this because, I mean, until you have a signed written agreement, you're, you're, you're not going to have, you can't have binding verbal contracts and verbal agreements. And, mm -hmm. and I don't know with the limited facts I have, I don't know what was sent to the court and what was represented to the court. But as a general matter, until you sign that actual settlement agreement and re release, it is not binding and potentially your case may have to go back on the docket uh, and you may have to ultimately try it if you cannot come to terms because one of the essential issues you have to have in every case when you settle it with an insurance company or an individual they are going to want to release saying this is it i'm over and done and uh, this brings finality to the end of the case um, and so there's certain language sometimes there's issues with wanting confidentiality sometimes there's interest with respect to if uh, medical expenses paid wanting to make sure they're protected against any claims from those so there's all kinds of specifics that have to go into that release and that's very important so uh, uh, you don't want to let this linger on make sure and stay in contact with your attorney and make sure you get that to the finish line sooner rather than later so you know what you have to deal with whether it's a settlement or if you're proceeding forward with your case thanks for calling in